Action continues here on the second and final day of competition at the 2024 Arnold Strong Woman Classic. We have just two events remaining and we are set for event number four. Glad you're with us, everybody. I'm Sean Woodland with Dr. Bill Crawford, Kristen Rhodes, and Jerry Pritchett. That is what awaits. It is the dumbbell press. There are four different dumbbells out there. We'll get into the specifics of the event here in just a second. But man, I mean, just like yesterday, we started this thing off with a bang. I mean, I don't know how we're going to live up to what we just saw with both the men and the women in those stone carries. Well, that was a total stir. I mean, you know, <laughs> Angelica came through with a massive performance, catapult herself up. Some of the some of the other athletes dropped down. I mean, how do you match that? Yeah, it's, it's been awesome so far, I think. Oh, it's been amazing. And just to see, you know, the, the predictions that we thought didn't happen in the athletes <laughs> that we weren't even looking at, like, catapulted to the top. And, I mean, and we've seen a sh big shakeup in points. Yeah. Yeah, all, all that morning show and all our talk about who, who's going to do who <laughs> yeah. out the window. <laughs> Angelica went out and ran away with that. Now, that was impressive. And we keep thinking, like, wow, deadlift was amazing. Frame was amazing. Now Stone, so... Man, I'm looking forward to the dumbbell. It's going to be cool. Well, let's take a look at the overall standings. And you know, don't get too attached to this, because as we have learned so far through this competition, uh, the leaderboard is going to look a lot different after each event. Right now, it's Lucy Underdown, who has the overall lead by four points over Andrea Thompson. So the two of them flip-flop uh, after the last event. Angelica Jardine, courtesy of that event, wins is now in third place. But look how close it is. Three through seven, just three points separating all those athletes now coming in to event number four. Now, this event, it is the Monster Dumbbell. Uh, each athlete will have 30 seconds to go out and lift. They will start on the first dumbbell, and then they will progress through that after every round. Now, you get four attempts to lift each one, 30 seconds per attempt. Now, if you think you're at a weight that you're not going to be able to progress past, you want to get as many reps as you can on that weight because that is the tiebreaker. So there's a lot of strategy that comes into this. So, Kristen, what are the keys here? I mean, the keys to, I mean, obviously it's going to be strategy and, you know, a good clean, a good set on the shoulder. And, I mean, really the dumbbell's a leg drive. So mm -hmm. in, in this event, they really have to decide, you know, strategy-wise, like, where are they going to go? Are they going to start with the one, the 70 kilo or, or where they're starting? They will go in reverse order of the overall standings as you take a look at those monster dumbbells. So Donna Moore, who comes in in 12th place, she's going to be first out followed by Sam Beliveau. Uh, now Victoria Long is listed up there. Now remember, Victoria, if you were not here earlier, you weren't here yesterday, you're just joining us, she had a hamstring injury uh, in the opening event, the deadlift, she had to withdraw. She's the two-time defending champion, so we're gonna crown a new champion here uh, in 2024, and we certainly wish Victoria uh, all the best in a speedy recovery uh, after that injury. I mean, I guess, what do you do? It's, uh, you know, you've got your first attempts, and you go for the knockout punch early and save your energy, or do you just kind of build up a little bit? Uh, you know, Kristen, you're the what would I do? former record holder. I mean, because I mean, this is you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you're in the back and you're warming up, I mean, it just kind of depends on, on, on I mean, for me, strategy-wise, I'd probably hit, you know, the second, the third, and, and then go for the, go for broke. And, and you're kind of using it as a warm-up, kind of gauging where you feel. And, um, yeah, it's it's... If, you, if your mind is set on that record, like you're gonna you're gonna set yourself up for that. But yeah. you know the strategy comes in too, where if you're not going for the record and you're gonna be hitting hitting reps on another one, like what do you where are you gonna stop? Where well, gonna the, here's a note too: yeah. if you do make it to the final dumbbell and you get that to that 185 and you fail it, you can drop back to the prior one to try to accumulate as many reps as you can. That's the only instance in which you can go lower in weight. Right, and you only, can only go to that prior one. You Correct. Can only go back right. to the 80. And also, if you've got to do it inside that 30 seconds. That's uh, Jerry and I were back talking with them. And it, so it's not like you can't do like one rep and then come back and do one rep in the next set and then one rep and that counts as three. No, you have to, whatever you do in that 30 second time frame. So maybe you get one with the top one. You want to come back and try to get a, get two repetitions with the big with the big dumbbell. And that that's how you gain those points. Yeah, this one's going to get really interesting on, on strategy. You know, and, and the, the athletes that are very confident on what they can do on that dumbbell, yeah. you know, because you got an athlete that's really confident, you know, like Bobby yesterday on, on deadlift, your warm-up feels good, come out and nail the 185 and sit back. Right. You know, maybe, and, and see what the others do, see if maybe you need to come out and double it, you know, and then save yourself for those stones at the last event and let everybody else kind of go out and battle and do reps right. and everything. So 
But yeah, this is another one like deadlift. You, you know, there's some strategy comes in, but you have to be really confident on what you can do, what you're capable of. You know, because you, you, you don't want to come out and go too heavy and miss it, and then, then you're stuck, and you can't go back down. Well, Sam Bellavo looks to be the first woman out. Now, the weight on the dumbbells, 132 pounds, 60 kilos, 154 pounds, 70 kilos, 176 pounds, 80 kilos, and then that final dumbbell, 185 to 84 kilos there. So Sam, Sam's definitely got to be one of the favorites on the dumbbell. Uh, she loves this event. She's very good at this event. Her. So it'll be interesting what her approach is here. Well, Donna Moore was scheduled to be the first woman out, being told that she has withdrawn from the competition, which means Sam is first up. Now, you can start wherever you want. So if Sam looks like she's going to start at 176, 80 kilos, <laughs> if she fails this, she can come out and try it again in round two. But she's done 190 in training, we're told. So yeah. I think she's pretty confident with this bell. Come out this heavy, her confidence is up. She's going to nail this. Easy. Easy. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely what I expected <laughs> from her. And she's just going to make her one attempt. Wow. And head back after round number one. Well, that's something we talked about, the depth of this field. Like, you know, all these points, you said, don't get used to that point standing, the overall point standing. The problem is simple. You know, this, you've got specialists in different Ooh. events who are just going to put all kinds of points in between people. Yeah. You know, it's the fewest cool weak points. Yeah. You know, you see that mix up. And what's kind of neat about this is the way that it's set up is you don't have to sit and wait your turn to go through all of the weights. You can come out and you can choose what you want to start with right off the bat. So it also eliminates the time you're sitting and waiting. Well, yeah. I guess let's say Sam comes out and she, you know, things aren't going great on the, you know, the, the next bell up. She can drop back and get some more reps. Did you, but, but she smoked did it. Did you watch that 176? Yeah, <laughs> she smoked it. I'm just talking strategy, like and just not necessarily for her, but just yeah. for just in general. But she smoked it, so. And I expect. See where Mel's starting. Well, she's going to go right, right to it. the 185. Oh, right. <laughs> I like it. Get it out of the way. <laughs> oh, did not get credit. Get it, get it, that get that is legal. Down. She can re rack it. And I don't know if she no. got credit for that, that one. First she did not. No. I don't think she oh, had it. That was very close for, for yeah. Peacock. But now remember, she can drop back down if she wants, or in round two, she can come back out and try it again. She was throwing the knockout punch right off the bat. Yeah, come out swinging. <laughs> and sometimes that's the best way to do it. Oh, yeah. I like the approach. Yeah. Because what, would that make other people kind of try to outpace what they thought they could do, and then they stumble? And you're, cause you're trying to create points. And You can see the points in the lower left-hand part of your screen. And the reason they are structured like this is that so there's just no way someone can score the same amount of points on the reps to make up for some to catch someone who's had a heavier lift. Right. The so 70 will always beat 60 regardless of how many yeah, times wait, you lift wait it. Trump's reps, right. yeah. Well, Aaron Murray is the next woman up. Go on the lighter one, 132. And Sam Bellabo, as you can see, 100 points for that one rep. She had at 176 pounds. Easy. Easy. That's good for Murray. And now, if she chooses, she can continue to amass some reps here. And this will be it for her. Once you decide to amass reps on a dumbbell, that's it. You're out. You're out. And because these rounds are only 30 seconds, they're allowing the athletes to just catch it on their shoulder and continue the reps. That's it. Which is different than we're used to in strongman. You usually have to go to the ground and do a full clean back up. So I'm, I'm sure some people are sitting at home going, what is she doing? That's not a full. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but that was allowed because of the short time of these rounds. Which I don't know that it's that big of an advantage. I mean, it saves me a little bit of time, but to catch 132 pounds on your shoulder and readjust isn't, isn't easy. But, it, you know, she knew who she was, and she stayed and she stayed within her, her capability and came out and got probably what she maybe thinks is the best result for her. And in the end, that's the best you can do, so. And Inez Carrasquillo is up next. Seventh place with 22 points, but as we mentioned coming in, <laughs> only three points separate her 
from Jardine in third place. That was easy. No problem. Yeah, she's going to walk away. Yep. Smart. She'll be back out. That was a very easy attempt. So easy rep. One point at the lightest weight for Carrasquillo. And the strategy is so interesting because in that split second when you're out there, you have to make that decision. Am I going for reps or do I think I have more and I'm able to go up? Yep. So it's definitely a, it's an interesting strategy. I mean, she she did that with such uh, that was a, that was, a, that was a such an easy rep. You know, you've got to come back out. Yeah. And I thought Aaron, you know, she hit that easy I, too. Yeah, she yeah. hit that easy too. I'm not sure, you know, uh, what her thought was, but you know, it plays on, on warm up. You know, maybe warm up didn't feel quite as good as she hoped. So I just go out and get some reps in the, that that lighter dumbbell. Because you know, pressing too. You know, when you go out here and you look at the crowd, you look at the lights. It's different than the gym you, when you have your focus points in the gym, you know. You're, you're kind of looking out into the open space here. It's a little different. Hannah Lindsay's up next. Looks like she's going to start at 154. Easy. Oh, and that easy. is good. Good job. That'll be good for 10 points for her. You know, she's got some ground to make up. Yeah, and a lot of these yeah. athletes are using these as their warm-ups because they know in their head where they want to get, but they want to warm up, feel the crowd, feel the lights, yeah. feel the implements. Easy. I'll be interested to see what uh, Andrea comes out to, you know, what her first. Did she just save all of her energy and come out and just really go after the big one? Yeah. Now it's Olga Lischuk who's out on the floor. 22 and a half points coming in. Just two and a half back of Jardine for third place. Best finish was a fourth in the opening event, the deadlift, where she pulled 606 pounds. So she's also going for 154. There you go. Easy. Easy. And she has it. Good. I mean, something else to talk about. These dumbbells are beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I love these things. The best dumbbell I ever pressed on. My yeah. absolute favorite. Just so balanced, beautiful the way they sit. I mean, the press, the handle. Rounded edges, so you're not All digging into your forearm. Yeah, I just go oh. with everything that Rogue makes. I mean, just the equipment's beautiful. Yeah. It's perfect. And it looks good. It looks good, too. <laughs> it's big. It's, you know, again, we're back to the big, scary implements. I love it. And Rebecca Roberts will be the next woman out. She has 23 and a half points. Back-to-back -back second place finishes right. coming in here. Right. She's got some momentum. And she is world's strongest woman. So it's more than pride. She's just good. <laughs> nice. That nice lift is good. Out. For Roberts, as she chooses to start at the lightest weight, 132. You know, what's funny. I, I've been to competition, see people have to do a little bit of a lockout, and you say, "Well, that's kind of the top end." But then you find out that that's just how they do it. Yeah. So they'll lock, they'll do that little they'll do that little stutter lockout at the end. Lots of leg drive. Maybe she just missed the timing a little bit. So yeah, she kind of caught it with a little bit of a bent arm, then. Stabilize it and push it through. 60 kilos on that dumbbell, 132 pounds. And Rebecca Roberts chooses for one rep now. Here comes Angelica Jardine, who joined us on the desk during the men's competition. We got to tell her that she was currently sitting in third place. Uh, we'll see how she handles that. And going to go back to the chalk bucket for a second. But an impressive <laughs> effort from her on the Jack Stone carry, 91 feet 8 inches to get her first career event win here at the Arnold in her first career appearance. See how she follows that up, starting on that 60-kilo dumbbell. So new to the sport. Let's see how she does on this implement. Well, <laughs> well did That'll you see do. how she She's threw so that to her shoulder? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, so easy. She has an infinite well of hip drive. Unbelievable. You know what's so amazing about this dumbbell, too, is like you could, you know, in training, most people don't have these. And you come out here, you hit this dumbbell. It's so beautiful and balanced, and it sits so nice. You're going to see women hitting 15, 20 pound PRs on this. Right. Yeah. Well, the, uh, yeah, she has unbelievable leg drive. And just a so easy. snap locked Great. out. Yeah. I, I don't think she knows where she is. Well, it's kind of what we saw yesterday she on the just, deadlift for her. Yeah. You know, she, she, she left some out there. 
Got some room left over. I, you know, and these are like circus dumbbells, you can call them, but really this is an homage to uh, Lewis Sear. There we go, we'll see where so Andrea starts. Andrea Thompson coming in in second place overall. She's got 27 points, took ninth in that last event, and right trails Lucy Underdown by four for the overall lead. Oh, misses 176. Has time to take another attempt, and remember, she still has three more rounds here. Come on, Andrew. Come on. That's come it. On, come on, Finish come on. it. Oh, no. not able Just to get it. So close. Shocking. Wow. Huh. Huh. Well, that's a little bit of a development. So she has to stay with that. That's what I was just going to say. Once yeah. that's, it's interesting because whatever weight you pick to start at, you better be confident you're going to get it. Right. Because yeah. you can't go back down. But a dumbbell's not like necessarily because you you know your your whole body will have the reserve. It's just that it's just your it's shoulder and leg drive. It's so all leg be, drive. All leg drive. She's got a little get a little bit of timing. She'll yeah. come back out and get it. Well, now overall leader Lucy Underdown is making her way to the floor. Has yet to finish lower than fourth in any event and has a win yesterday in the deadlift. Now she's been working hard on dumbbell, so she knows she needs some points here. Yeah, she said yesterday that this is the, the one event she there was you go. There a little you go. worried about, but that looked good. Look good. Fantastic. She just needs to salvage what points she can here. And, and that will do it for round number one. Sam Bellabo is still our leader. She had one successful rep at 176, which means now Bellabo has to take another look at Lucy Underdown's effort at 132 pounds, 60 kilos. Bellabo will start at 185 pounds, 84 kilos. Now, if she misses this, she has the option of going back to 176 and amassing reps, but this is only round two for her. Right. So she can make two more attempts at 185 after this if she does not get it. I think as convincing as the 176 was, this is going up. Like Kristen said, Bill, did you see that? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I talked to her backstage. She's very confident. She came here specifically for this. Right. And she's really good at it. Bellavo with 12 points overall coming in. Needs to have a couple big performances in these final two events to get herself. That's the top confidence five. right there. There you go. Let's see it, Sam. Everybody's on their feet. Come on, make your moment. Sam Bellavo, 185 pounds, 84 kilos here. Let's go. Sam. Easy clean. Let's see it. Big drive. Oh, and she's got wow. it. Yeah. Come on, get another one. That one. She, she did get it. She gets credit for that. Here so we see another one. Here we go. Let's see another one. Get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that looks better than the first. Get another one. I love it. The second one looked better than the first. It just says yeah. unbelievable. Sam yeah. Pelopo. Yeah. She could come back out in another round oh, again. That was great. Three reps, possibly. I, I have this one. I, just, I know that feeling. I'm so freaking happy for her. Right what now. did you have to say? <laughs> oh, Sam Bellabo uh, thanking the crowd for their support. Great. She gets two reps. Just, that's on the record. That's, that's massive. That's amazing. She just said, come and get it. And like we said, Jerry, I mean, that second one looked better than the first. Yeah, and absolutely. at that amount of weight, that's incredible. Second one flew. I mean, look at lockout in the second one. I mean, just for everybody out in the audience, you know, who's listening and watching. OK, can you do your body weight over your head with two hands? Can <laughs> you do it with one, one hand? Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> that was. Uh, congratulations. I mean, that's great. Wow, just wow. Now Melissa Peacock is out. She failed at 185 the last time. So now she can drop back to 176. Easy. Oh, yeah, easy. And she will make Locked that. It. So now we're going to see reps here. No, no. No, no okay. Guess not. She wants to go back out. Say we come back out to that 185. Right that's there. a smart move because that was. That was a really smooth lift. It was. It's only, you know, ten, less than 10 pounds. You can get it. 
on that first attempt, the 185, I believe, was there. Just you may miss the mark just a little bit. Yeah. That, again, that shows confidence, and she knows where she is. She just yeah. needs a little more time. So. And, and now as an athlete, you go sit back there and you get your head right. You know what you have to do. You have your last chance. And you know what you have to do. You come out there and do it. Well, you know, Sam's strategy of coming out and handling the 176 and getting that under her belt. Yeah. That was smart. Very smart. Yeah. <laughs> so Inez Carrasquillo is going to jump up to 154, 70 kilos. And Aaron Murray, remember, already amassed those reps, so she's done. Nope. Just missed the lockout. Wow. Don't rush it. Get your rep. There you go. There you go. And that's nice. good for Inez Carrasquillo. There you go. Good job, great job. I feel like we're gonna have a battle for reps at 176. That's probably, yeah, I was <laughs> yeah. just kind of going in my head. The, the 160's kind of not even been looked at. So after a failed first attempt, Inez Carrasquillo gets it sorted. Earns right 10 there. more points with that good lift. And now Hannah Lindsay is gonna come out. She had one good lift at 154 pounds. So she'll jump up to 176, we think. Let's see it. Come on, Hannah. There we go. Get that rack. Good drive. There we Come go. On, lock, lock it, it lock it. Oh. So close. So close. Come on. She's got to have this. She's asking for some clarification from the judge. She's going to come back out again. Yeah. Smart move. Instead, instead, of, instead of rushing it right now. Still has two more rounds. This is Hannah Lindsay. Which is such a different format than we've ever seen before. There's so much strategy in missing, being able to walk away, gather yourself, and come back because that was close. you lose the panic. Like yeah. when she's here, if she had to go again, she would be panicking, and, and right, a lot of yeah. times you don't get that. But to go back and be able to relax, and uh, that's. But maybe you'll see a bigger number this way, right? Or come out with a real clean rep right off the bat. Right. So Olga Lischuk is up next. She's also going to make an attempt at 176. Already got 154 in the bag. Now up to 80 kilos, 176 pounds. Come on, Olga. All right, let's go. You got this. There we go. See you around. Come on. Big drive, big drive. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. And Olga nice. has it. Awesome. And technically, a little bit different than she was looking down. Most people. You have a little more of a tilt to sort of look up. And you kind of want to keep your eyes straight because if you look up or look whatever, you're going to drop your, your shoulders, your shoulders were tilt. You want to keep your eyes straight ahead. Right. That's a, that was yeah. a little bit different, but it obviously worked for her. That was strong rep. She puts the bell a little bit further behind her ear. There yeah, she got it back in her trap a little more. Yeah. yeah. But she launches that thing yeah, on the dip. There you go. And then Rebecca she had to stabilize Roberts. it. Barbie Bell is going to be out next. Already has a, a good lift at 132 pounds, 60 kilos. And again, Roberts with some momentum right now. She's been really solid after an 11th place finish in the deadlift. Back-to-back -back second place finishes. She is only one and a half points back of Angelica Jardine. These She's women are collected place. fans, haven't they? She's looking for the podium right now. Yeah. Rebecca. There you go. I just oh. got away from her just a little bit. I pushed out a little bit. Right. Come on. Oh. She's just, just dropping out. Yeah, I remember she was saying that glute was really bothering her. It's going to affect that, that dip and that push press. Absolutely. I can be able to get the same amount of drive as normal. 
failed attempt for Rebecca Roberts, but still two rounds remain for her. As Angelica Jardine, third place overall, will be next out, coming off that win in the Jackstone carry. Moving up to 176 is Angelica. She's like, well, I think I should lift this one. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I don't, she just, it's unbelievable. Well, sometimes said, it's good to not know certain stuff. And right. If you're here as a rookie and you don't know, you know, kind of what it's all about, and you're just trying to figure it out, that pressure might not get to you. And she seems to be handling it pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. Cool as a cucumber. She said she, uh, you know, she was kind of a little fan struck when yeah. she came out, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. Let's go. Right. And that was <laughs> great. Oh, wow. And now she has, she has a chance to go for more here at 154. So that will be two. That's 70 three. kilo dumbbell. Let's see it. Keep it up. Come on. Hold on, John. Let's Good see drive. it. Come on. There we go. Good drive. Lock, lock it. it. Lock, lock it. it. Hold, hold it. Hold it. Yeah. And she will get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long walk for one rep. But awesome wow. effort. Sardine makes it count here. Oh, I'm a fan. <laughs> That'll be wow. 30 points for her. The three reps at 176. I mean, and again, she is now done. Again, that's smart. I mean, she just knows, you know, what can I do? Right. Yeah. What can I do? Where can I put myself? I'm looking at points. We talked about this yesterday. Some, sometimes top level strongman, strong woman is not exciting because a little boring because you're jockeying for points. This third one was really impressive. That she walked with that. Yeah, look how far she Balanced walks it. back. I mean, she goes like five foot back to finally stabilize wow. it. I mean, she walked and then walks it up the floor. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I've it ever seen smart, that before. It smart, not hard. Just put that thing down. Yeah. That's why we have an equipment crew. They can come out there and move that thing. This is like she brought a, it back oh. for yeah. It's like a Gordian knot. Like, yeah. how strong, <laughs> how on, strong is Angelica? That was impressive. <laughs> Well, this is big now for Angelica. Focus right here. For uh, Andrea Thompson, pardon me, because she, she missed has. at 176 the last round. Yeah, she has. She to was have close. It. Come on. Come on. Yep. Oh, she's she's gotta gotta it give it to she her. She didn't hold it long enough. Yeah. Uh, I would call that a postcard lift. Try to anticipate that down and missed it. Come on. And she'll Come on. control to top. Oh, not going to count. So a costly oh, no. mistake for Andrea Thompson. She didn't have to do that. No, oh. yeah, that's tough. But we know it's there. If she just held that lockout the first the first rep, that yeah. it's going to count. She it, still it, has two it. rounds to go. She'll get it. The now overall leader, is. Lucy Underdown, up next. You start getting tired. Right. You know, you start right. missing those reps. It starts getting in your head. You start getting tired. It starts messing with you, yeah. Yep. Well, and here's the thing, too. We now have three women who are just going to get less rest because three women aren't lifting anymore. Bellavo, Murray, and Jardine. So the They're field out. has now gotten well, Every closer. time you take that top weight to your shoulder, you're taxing everything and the dip and then missing that, you know, it's, 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 your chances of, of getting are getting less and less the more attempts you take. It's right there. Oh. It's right there. She'll get it. Here's Lucy Underdown out. 154. Hey, Lucy. Stabilize. Come on. Drive. Good. Oh. Stabilize. Elbow up. She really needs Good this. Drive overhead. Come on. Not going to happen. Wow. Underdown fails at 154 as we now move into round three. And with Bellavo out as your overall leader with 2,000 points, <laughs> Mel Peacock wow. is going to be up next. See uh, Mel crush that 185 here? Yeah. Maybe she goes for the real knockout punch. Or, you know, maybe tries to tie with a couple of reps or go for three. I mean, there's nowhere to go. She, I, I, my guess is this, she's going to go for the big got, one. I mean, yeah, you got to go for the big one. Yeah. It's, she's already hit the 176. You yeah. got to go. It doesn't do a lot for her. Nope. She's got this in her, though. Yes. She's got this weight. Here she goes. Here goes 
Mel Peacock up to the 185 pound, 84 like kilo it. dumbbell. All right, Mel, let's go see it. But Sam Bellabo is over Brown to our left. It. And she's uh, walking over to pay attention to this. Come on, Mel. Big drive. Yes. yes. Nice, easy. Yes. There's one. That's it. Heck yes. So she's going to go for two. Come on. Over Come on. Tie. Let's there go. We go. Crowd is rising up. Come on. Now this for the tie. You just got to get that up to the shoulder here. Oh, that's a lot of energy. That was a fight. Come on. Half the yeah. battle right here. Get set. Come on. Good drive. Elbow up. Oh, Not going to so get it. Close. But solidly in second place nice. is Mel Peacock. Great One effort. good lifted. Great effort. That's well, great. I am five. so impressed that we just had two women press 185. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm yeah. blown away right now. That's awesome. Yeah. Unbelievable. Beautiful to watch. I mean, the first time we had record breakers, what was your? 165 for a double. Yep. That wow. was on a hit, yeah. yeah. That was impressive. That was in 18, 2018. Yep. Inez Carrasquillo will be next out. Hit 132, then 154. Let's go. So now up to the 80 kilo dumbbell for Inez, who, you know, worse to the wear after a face plant on the Timber yesterday. Yeah, that was, that was bad. She's mentally very tough. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Easy. Hold wow. <laughs> nice. Well, that's good for Annette. She's at, she's at 154 again. That's it. Okay. To wrap it out. Smart. There you go. Oh. At the time? Yeah. That was the time. That was time. Well, as Inez leaves, you want to update you on Melissa Peacock. We're getting word that that rep did not count for her. She wow. did not have it locked out long enough. And that's why her score hasn't changed. But the good news for her is she will have another attempt. So she still has one more round as Mel Peacock. But wow. Inez Carrasquillo getting multiple reps at 154, so she's now going to bow out. So you want to have it locked out overhead and your feet in position. It can't just be like knock and then. Well, I was kind of wondering because the dumbbell was still kind of moving a little bit, yep. twisted. So yep. we call that a call, call that a postcard press, that where if you take the call. picture at the right second, yeah, it'll, it, it'll look good. It'll yeah. Quite, uh, but this is, I mean, this is a super experienced group of judges. So I, I have to agree with that. I was. Yeah. You want to see. You know, that control at the top where, you, you know, you hold it there that second to show that, that it's in locked, controlled. That way there's no question later. Right. Right. You know? well, now Hannah Lindsay coming back out. Lindsay failed at 176 in the prior round. She really has to have this to stay in the hunt. Yeah, absolutely right. Absolutely. She's fifth place with 22 and a half points. She's also just two and a half points back. This is going to be big for her. She needs of this. Oh, this. Absolutely. Let's this. see it. This is a Come big on, win. Hannah. Big drive. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. And she got so the close. down. Oh. She got it? It looked like they she did get the her? down signal. They gave it you to her. You saw the judge give the down signal, so that was. Whoa. Looks like she's confirming. Wow. Right. Wow. <laughs> that was great. 176 counts for Hannah Lindsay. Who now is in a tie for second place with Amazing. Peacock at 100 points? Now, Olga Lischuk is going to come out and she'll make a run at 185. They used to give uh, they used to give an award, uh, the World Strongest Man, for heart, basically like. Whoa! Oh boy, she got right on the edge there. Yeah, that was close. Yep. Round three for Olga, up to 185 pounds, 84 kilos. So far, Sam Bellavo, the only woman to, to lift that dumbbell, and she did it twice, which is why Bellavo is at the top of the standings on the left side of your screen with 2,000 points. Peacock got really, really close. Very close. Come on. Oh, so oh, close. Oh, oh, oh. So close. Just got out in front of her. 
I wonder if she surprised herself a little getting that up there. Oh, I don't know. She shot you up know? really fast, and it just floated so out fast. in front of her where she didn't quite stabilize it. She's going to run out of time. Yep, she'll come just back. confirming with the judge yeah. that she's going to get one more chance. Yeah. She was very close. So, I mean, it was up there. It was there. She just yes. didn't stabilize it. Look at that. Just got out. So front. close. <laughs> She knows she's good for it. She'll come back and get it. So far, only one woman has hit that 185-pound, 84-kilo dumbbell. It's Sam Bellavo. We'll see if you know, Olga Lischuk can do it. Mel Peacock's going to have another chance. And we're holding for what we're hearing is a coach's challenge. For which Melissa's don't right. know for who. I've just been told it's a coach's challenge. I'm guessing it would be for Melissa Peacock. Yeah. Right. And Matt Eisman, the floor announcer, is explaining that right now to the crowd here. Let's take another look. This is the rep that we think is in dispute. Uh, it just kept moving. I can see the argument, though. If, if they allowed Hannah's. That's yeah. what I was just, just going to say that. You, you got to allow that one. Yep, you have to. I mean, I mean I'm not the it, judge. This is what it is. I mean, you let something keep moving. Well, you, you allow one that's moving, you got to allow the other one's moving. And listen, here's the thing, too. This is giving all these athletes now more rest. Yeah. I mean, I think if that's the way you call it, it's like in baseball, you know, like a strike zone and stuff. If that's the way you call it, then, you know, you have to, if you're consistent yeah. and you're fair to everybody, I think that's okay. Um, and, and dumbbell's tough because sometimes you just get that split second. Yeah. You're just like, it's a quick little hole and it's coming down. And a lot of times those are given. Well, meanwhile, two lifts we do know that counted. Sam Beliveau. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. At 185. Absolutely. And that was, I mean, no we've doubt. had so many. <laughs> we're only like halfway through this competition. We've had so many great moments Sam's here. Sam's solid. And this was another one. Look at that. There's no, there's no doubt. Lifts. Yeah. <laughs> no oh, question. You can't argue those. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a clinic. <laughs> it's a clinic. Yeah. I love it. And we've heard this repeatedly from the women who are competing here. They are so thankful for the crowd that is here. And, and we were even talking earlier off camera just about how there's no difference in the crowd between the women and the men. I mean, they're all on their feet for both uh, for both divisions. It's been fantastic to watch. And I know the athletes really appreciate it. And I was sitting out there during the Denny Stones for the men, and I just the energy, the crowd, and, like, I was just getting emotional just <laughs> sitting out there, just hearing it, seeing it, knowing what these women are feeling. Like, it's, yeah, it's incredible. Well, it, people just want to see good competition. I mean, if, if this is, you know, the women are battling it out and it's this close and they're showing. But not only that, I mean, they're doing amazing weights. They're doing great yeah. things. Yeah. You know, Huge it's not weights. just how, you know, Huge it's weights. a good competition. They're stretching out, you know, the, they're putting the outer limits of what is possible. Yeah. Well, Rebecca Roberts was going to be the next woman out, but she's now done. She's going to settle for eighth place with under down right now with one point one good lift at 132 you know, Roberts coming in in fourth place overall so Lindsay and Lee Chuck and Kara Skio all have a chance to leapfrog her in the overall standings now Andrea Thompson will be the next athlete out now she's missed her first two attempts at 176 wow she needs this She's got to have one this. rep. She needs one yeah. rep. You have to have this. Let's see it. Come on. Come, Come on. on. Just do it. Come on. You got She's this. Got this. Attack this. Come Third on. try at 176 for Andrea. Oh, Thompson. so much better clean. Come on. Go. A little high. Come on. Big drive. <sighs> oh. It is so close, every lift for so her. So close. Come on, Andrea. You've got this. Come on. But now the problem becomes for Thompson is that she can't. This She's got to do this. She, she to, can't, can't drop down. back. Can't and she has one more round. Okay. I, the deeper we go in is, and, and that many misses, it's just getting tougher and tougher, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. With that big a weight, you know, those, those big weights, they just they start stretching your shoulder after a while. It's, it's harder and harder to get them. Carl Gillingham, uh, referee, very experienced. Well, Lucy Underdown is going to come back up. 
she failed at 154 in her last attempt. This will be big for her. She comes back and gets this. And the, and the strategy for her is she's coming out here to gain points. Yeah. Like right. She knows she has to get points up on um, Rebecca at this point. Get as much as she can. Yep. Well, now she's got to start thinking, too, about Jardine because Jardine yeah. is only two points back of her for right. second. Yeah. Yeah. And Andrea's in a, in a pickle, so this is... Is, okay. <laughs> it's Amber Stone. Yeah. We said earlier today we're going to see a huge shakeup in points. I mean, this is all yeah. over the place. Yeah. This right. Is, well, especially with, with the position that Andrea is in right now, this could be potential. We're now into Giant round four. Up points. Yeah. This is the fourth and final round. Mel Peacock, who it doesn't look like, if that was the challenge, didn't win it. Her score has not changed. So she'll be back out at 185. Okay, come on. Just make this happen. Come on. You know you got this. She's got to be a little. Uh, she's got to be a little angry at this. I'm just say that. I said that. I, I'd be a little upset. Yeah. Come, come on. on. Come on. Put that in this left shoulders. Here Knock we go it out. Come on, Mel. Dominate Knock this. It Let's out. go. Let's see it. Come on, Mel. Oh. Yeah, Come on now. It just gets harder. Oh, it's close. Peacock's still in a second place tie with Lindsay and, and Lee Chuck here. Oh, no. that crowd. Big drive. Big drive. Come on. Hold it. Oh. oh. She's had that thing up five lit. times. She's had that thing up five times. <laughs> so close. close for Mel Peacock. Oh. Just rolled back just enough. Couldn't catch it. Wow. Damn, I'm That's exhausted. Close. Well, Kristen, <laughs> as you mentioned, you're absolutely right. This is going to come down to reps at 176. 100. percent Ah. Now she. Uh, she's done, right? Is that she four? is done? That's it. Yeah, that was round four. And that also strategy. Once she missed that 185, right. should she have dropped to the 176 we, and hit two reps to bump herself up in front of those other two athletes? Which she was well capable of. Yeah, she's absolutely. Super solid. Yeah. Okay. Now Hannah Lindsay back out, hit 176 on her last attempt, and now oh, we're going 185. For broke. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect from her? I right, go for it. You 100% you're yes. all in. Go for it. Yeah. You're all in. You got nothing to lose. Her, fi her foot's on the gas. She's coming out swinging. Let's go. Come on, Hannah. Come on, Hannah. There you go. Double Get set. up. Big drive. Let's go. Let's see it. Oh, so close. Good effort, good effort, good effort. Proud of love of the effort. That's it, she's out. It's not going to happen for Lindsay at 185, but did have one good rep at 176, Whoa. which puts her in that three-way tie for second place right now. Wow. That was super key for her to stay in this. I'm so impressed with her. She was never a presser. And just in the last two years watching her, was she a deadlifter? She's always she's she's always kind of been she's been good at deadlift, good at grip, but like was never really presser. And to see this today, yes. man, she has come a long, long, long way. way. Yeah. All right, that's great. Well, Olga Lieschuk's coming out at 176. So she's making the decision to drop back down. So she's obviously going to look for reps. Yeah, we but that's smart reps. because here she only needs two reps to beat Mel and Hannah. Right. That's yeah. all she needs. Right. Which and hopefully she knows all she needs is two. That's it. She's more capable of. Yep. One, oh, one yeah. solid wow, one right there. Solid. She needs one more. One more. No question on that lock now. Come on. Big pop. Let's see it. Come on. Come on. There it is. There you go. There That's it. it. And she will That's get it. Huge. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Wow. A great strategy from that Olga Lee Chuck, and that's so going to give smart. her second place that was so all by herself. That's big points for her. Huge points. And now Andrea awesome. Thompson, who whose rest has gotten shorter and shorter each round, as you take another look at, at Lee Chuck, Andrea Thompson's out next, and she has got to make this at 176. This is do or die for her. Yeah. Yes. At this point, like it has to happen here. Well, this just make or break this the rest is it. of this competition. The rest of the show. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. Great lockout. That was just. Beautiful. Now, Thompson sits in second place overall as Murray and Karaskio look on.
with 27 points. He's four back of underdown, but Jardine and Leeschuk have both put some pressure on Thompson, so she has got to get this. I mean, this is the difference between, you know, picking up some points or almost like a free fall. Yeah, let's go ahead here. Let's see it. She cannot let her effort to this point be for nothing. You no, she's right, got right. to got to get this. Got to hit it. She just needs one. Come on. And she's and she's good enough to definitely get it. No Absolutely. Like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good clean. Come the on, crowd knows go. she needs this, and they are behind her. Double high, big drive, big lockout. Oh, oh. no. Just get, Come on. Right Just get that rep. Up. Get that rep. Come on. Come on. Stay calm. There you go. You got the drive for it. Just control the top. Come on. Thompson's not oh. going to get it. Man. Wow. And that Bummer is going to be her. devastating yeah. for her chances Surprise. of yeah. winding up on the podium. Yeah. That's heartbreaking. That one hurts. That's that tough is. One. That's, that's tough. Well, that's, there, really that's tough. where you talk strategy. As just going to talk just, about that. Yeah. You come out, yeah. you know, came out a little too hot thinking you were going to get it, and and you can't go back. Yeah, so that's, that's where you, you kind of work your way up. Like I was talking earlier, you might want to take a little earlier right. one that you know yeah. you can hit just to get on the board. Yeah, that's tough. That's yeah, a tough one. A, sometimes I mean, you need that safe one. You know, it's like the power lift. You want that safe attempt that where you're in, in the meet yeah. before you go up, you know, because that's at risk coming out big. Well, Lucy Underdown is going to be next up, and right now she's in ninth place. So as we said, coming in, get ready to put the standings in a blender once again if she can't <laughs> hit this. Yeah, well, I was going to shake things up. It's her third Come attempt on, at 154. See. Come on. Technically, it looks like she could get her she's, elbow a little higher. Yeah. Yeah. When you can see, she's also kicking that hip out. She's yeah. not staying directly under the belt. Yeah. Well, things are going to get real interesting now after uh, this event. Heading into the fifth and final event is Sam Bellavo is going to pick up the event win. Two good lifts for her at 185. Now, Olga Lischuk smartly going back to the 176-pound, 80-kilo dumbbell to take second by herself. And then you have the tie between Peacock and Lindsay for third. Too bad this isn't the decathlon scoring. Sam would be in first place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> Very uh, dominant. Can we impressive. talk about that lift right there? Unbelievable. Two solid lifts. <laughs> so this is James Bond, shaking, not stirring. We're not just stirring it up. We're shaking it up, oh, rolling we, it out. <laughs> we had a huge shakeup in this <laughs> Right. Event. It's going to get impressive. really interesting going into that stone medley to close out this competition for the women. As the top two coming in are the bottom two in the event. Oh. Wow. I, I don't know if you guys had a chance to uh, check out the Apollon's Axle. We, we all looked at we it looked close at it. up, and it's just a brutal-looking implement. It looks like it's beastly. It's, it's <laughs> merciless. I mean, there's the original axle that they used here. This one's 400 pounds. So these are unofficial, but we do know Sam Bellavo was the only woman to lift that 185-pound, 84-kilo dumbbell. Not once, but twice gets her the win. Olga Lischuk, that's going to be big for her as she was in fifth place overall coming into the event. Looks to move into the top three. Hannah Lindsay will finish in third in a tie with Melissa Peacock. And Angelica Jardine continues to be impressive here in her Arnold debut. Follows up that event win with another top five performance in the monster dumbbell and uh like you said jerry i mean we we thought we had an idea of what to expect and it's clear that we did not earlier today I mean, it was this all has out been, the window yeah. all <laughs> out the window and, and angelica is, is surprising everybody showing what she's capable of that amazing performance mm -hmm. i just love that she doesn't even know what she's capable of she's just out here doing her thing yeah. she's having a great time enjoying yeah. the crowd just just strong. She's just strong. She's just strong. Yeah. That's, all, that's yeah. all there is yeah. to it. Yeah, Angelica sure. Jardine has a chance to mate. I mean, we got to see how this all plays out, but she might, she might sneak in there. be your overall leader heading into the final event. We still have a lot more to come here. One event remains for the women. Two more remain for the men. Apollon's Axel coming up next as we continue our coverage here in Columbus, Ohio.